welcome back. I am Disha Shah and I create videos on how to make, save and invest money. I also make fun videos because why not? I have a YouTube channel. <laughs> I did make a July favorites and then missed August because let's be real, we're not trying out that many new things uh, for me to have different favorites. But I do have exciting favorites this month. Um, they're a little different from what you usually see around, but I think it's interesting because they've kept me company the past two months. This is a combined August and September favorites. Let's start with book now. I didn't read too much the last two months, but this is a book that's kept me company for the last three months and it's been awesome. It's called The Conquer Kit by Natalie McNeil. I actually bought it, I think, two years back, but now it's very, very handy and useful since I've been working on building my uh, business slash startup. It's called The Conquer Kit by Natalie McNeil, a creative business planner for women. Now, this takes you through the ideation process to planning, to execution, to price points, literally everything. Um, it's it's kind of like a workbook if you see. I absolutely love the book because it takes you through the whole process step by step, tells you what to do, gives you a place in the book itself to work out because most of the business books that you read, you kind of have to read it and then highlight and then make notes somewhere else. It's kind of hard to keep track, but in this book, I can track all the interviews that I'm taking for my research, all the steps that I'm using for execution later, my strategies team building, my support system, everything is in this book and is very, very handy. So if you are an entrepreneur looking to kind of um, sit down and plan everything in one place, I highly recommend this book. I think the part two of this book has also come out, but I'm not sure what the reviews are on that, but the first book is definitely worth it. My next favorite are these speakers. They are from JBL, Charge 4. I think it's quite easy to carry around. It comes with its own case. And for the last 20 years of my life, I honestly don't think I've had any good speakers. My brother got these speakers, which is why I have them, because I've always been skeptical in investing in speakers. I knew they're very, very useful, but I was still skeptical in investing in them. But this boy has been such a blessing in disguise. I mean, I, I take it everywhere with me, whether I'm going to the beach, whether I'm going to my friend's house, whether we're in the car. It's just... It's freaking brilliant. Whether it's a small um, party scene or it's a big party scene, it honestly delivers. Um, so yeah, I absolutely love these speakers and they've kept me company for the last month and I, I couldn't be happier. So absolute favorite. The socially responsible brand shout out this month, I have Ishta. I think I've mentioned this in one of my vlogs but I've been using their products two months now. Absolutely love it. It's tried and tested self care products. It's 100% organic, vegan, cruelty-free, chemical-free. It's from Chennai, so support local businesses also. I have combination skin, which means when my skin is a little oily, I mix in water and use it. And it's just my cat's fur. And when my skin is feeling a little dry, I mix it with milk and put it in. So it's awesome. It also smells like fresh coffee, like I can just smell this all day long, so it's awesome. I use this um, once in two, three days. It's a sorbet scrub for my face. The only feedback I have for this is that because I use it in the shower, I'm always scared to touch it with my wet hands because the whole thing might go bad. So I wish there was like an opener to kind of use it. Absolutely love it. I will leave the link to their Instagram. Um, you can DM them and order the products, follow their page. This next product is something that I would ask all of you to switch to. It is a menstrual cup. Um, I've been using cloth pads when I wanted to switch because I wasn't really sure how comfortable this would be. But then after hearing a lot of my friends and family switch to it, I switched to it. This is from Be Safe. It's a menstrual cup. It is odor and rash free. It is made from um, made with medical grade silicone. It's comfortable and it's reusable. I also think it's very, very economic because when you purchase the sanitary pads, I think you go through at least two, three packets a month. If you buy one of this and it'll last you, I think for like 10, 12 years, no pads needed at all. I also think it is awesome if you're traveling with this because for 12 hours, you don't have to worry about changing it. It of course comes in different sizes. I will leave the link to this exact one that I am using in the description box so make sure you check it out but save the planet, save money, easy to use, super friendly and I just think it's sustainable and we have to move 
also a sustainable so highly recommend this you can also see they have markings here like 10 ml 15 ml and 20 ml which i think is funny but you can see how much you bled so i mean that's something you're into in the previous video, I had asked if any of you would like to know the petitions that I'm signing, campaigns I'm supporting in the social space to increase awareness or take action um, with causes that make sense to me and I empathize with. A lot of you were excited and asked me to do it. For this month, we're starting small with one petition that I think is super, super important. I am from Tamil Nadu, Chennai. And if you are from Tamil Nadu, you know that finding emergency contraceptive pills in Tamil Nadu is almost impossible. Thank you to Ria Gupta for bringing a lot of light into this matter. For the longest time, even I assumed that emergency contraceptive pills are banned in Tamil Nadu, but this is not the case. In 2016, a law came out that helped regulate the sale of abortion pills over the counter. Now, the misconception was that the emergency contraceptive pills and abortion pills are the same. The misconception caused a lot of emergency contraceptive pills to be seized and hence pharmaceuticals also not having stock. So pharmaceuticals in Chennai or Tamil Nadu either don't keep a stock of it or simply say no because they're scared that it is illegal. Emergency contraceptive pills are famously known as eye pills or unwanted 72. These are taken after unprotected sex to prevent pregnancy. They work by delaying or stopping ovulation or making your uterus unsuitable for implantation. All your emergency contraceptive pills cannot disturb a pregnancy that is already in place. They do not work as an abortion pill. They are preventative measures. But when emergency contraceptive pills aren't available, in the last four years, you've seen a surge of unwanted pregnancies, which has resulted in abortions which makes no sense. The first step is to urge the lawmakers to put out notifications to these pharmaceuticals explaining the confusion and that emergency contraceptive pills need to be available over the counter. We need lots and lots of emails to be sent out. So the link will be in the description box. Make sure you go check it out, change your name and your email ID and send out as many emails as possible. Lifestyle change. Now I haven't made a very big change. But after watching Social Dilemma on Netflix, it didn't tell me things I didn't already know, but it kind of reinforced it in a way that I couldn't ignore anymore. And I have taken the following steps to kind of help me stay away from the black hole that this addictive world is. I have turned off all my notifications, which means unless I choose to use the phone, the phone does not call out to me. I do not use my phone half an hour before I sleep to kind of completely start shutting down. Another thing that Social Dilemma mentions is that your feed is filled with things that you like, which means you're constantly being fed only one particular type of information and no one is debating it, no one is asking you to think the other way, no one is challenging your thought process. So if I am a left-wing supporter, I also follow right-wing pages on Instagram, subscribe to right-wing videos on YouTube so that I know what is happening on either side. If I think a certain theory in terms of science or religion or spiritual or knowledge wise is one way, then I make sure to sit down and listen to the other side completely before forming a thought. I also actively engage in conversations with friends who think differently from me just so that I am held down to reality and I'm not kind of just rolling in my own thought process, if that makes sense. I also urge all of you to watch Social Dilemma, especially if your job is in social media marketing, advertisements, because you need to know what you're responsible for and you have to take steps to make it better, more ethical, or at least make people aware of it. It's a very small change, but it honestly has made the world of a difference for me. Let's talk about TV shows. Um, I have watched a lot of TV shows in the past two months, mainly because I was not feeling too well in August, which gave me a lot of free time to sit down and just watch shows. The first one that kept me company is It's Okay to Not Be Okay on Netflix. It's a South Korean TV show. Every episode is like an hour and a half, so it's almost like watching a movie. I think there are 16 episodes and it is brilliant. It is funny, it's a thriller, it is a love story, it is everything. And I don't know how they do this, but every episode you just sit down and it grips you from the very beginning till the end. I have laughed, I have cried, I have giggled, I have felt mushy. I completely recommend you to go and watch it. Absolutely loved it. The character developments, the relationships that they show, I think is just beautiful. A lot of it's kind of messed up, but it's beautiful nonetheless. 
The Duchess, which was released in September 2020. It is a British drama comedy show on Netflix. I think only one season is out, yeah. Only one season is out and I binged it and I absolutely loved it. I think it's funny, quirky, very sassy, also very relatable for me on some levels, but also not, I don't know. It was really fun to watch. So if you're looking to like just have a chill day, sit down and watch a show, I would recommend The Duchess. But absolutely recommend it. I will leave the, put your laptop on mute. Um, the reason I really, really like this coffee brew mask is that I have combination skin, which means when my skin is kind of feeling a little oily, I just put in, don't look directly at me when I'm filming. <laughs> don't, Quinang. You don't want AC fan or what? Dude, stop. This is not funny, I'm recording. Okay. Brilliant. Pranay, why did you turn on the AC? Why would you say turn on the AC? I said, don't you want the AC turned on? So I turned it on. Because I'm recording, I can't turn anything on. It's too loud. This microphone catches everything. Yeah. Why did you have to make that comment that I was doing something and I got up and I did it? Yeah. I have to do the whole segment again. For this. Oh my god, are you kidding me? You go through at least two or three packs in a month. Please go out and pick it up. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I've never actually hit a hundred likes. So if this video hits 100 likes, I will make a video pranking my brother who's back in town after a couple of years. So that would be fun. Let's get this video to 100 likes. Subscribe to my channel if you like my content and want me to make more. Leave me a comment telling me what your favorite movie, TV show or book is because I'm looking to read new books, watch new TV shows and have a movie marathon with my brother. So that would be awesome. The bell just rang. I think it's my brother. So yeah, 100 likes. Let's do it.